Hey guys, we're approaching summer and uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about because we always run into a little bit of problems in the summertime. Pool's not holding the chlorine because of the heat and the sun taking one ppm a day and uh, swimming and everything. So uh, pouring in a gallon of chlorine is not going to last in these pools. So there are two basically ways that we can deal with this. And the majority of people, um, let's see, they use, they use, um, Use this little guy right here. This is a trichlor tablet. The conditioner that this thing puts in per tablet is about six ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool. You know, what some guys do is they'll put this thing into a feeder like this here, a floater, and they'll put like three or four of them in here. Now that's six ppm in a 10,000 gallon pool per tablet. And pretty soon, you keep using these things, um, your conditioner is gonna be off the off the charts. And, and then you're gonna have to add more chlorine now because it's 7.5% chlorine per your conditioner had to have in that pool so you don't have problems. So now you're starting out a four PPM um, chlorine level and now you're gonna be up to a 10, a 12, a 15, a 20, because now you got 300 conditioner in the pool. And not only that, um, now you got to dump the pool because it's just too much condition. You, know, you can run into uh, problems with uh, getting a purple pool and uh, pool getting algae now because you don't have all that uh, chlorine in the pool. The pool being unsafe for people to swim in because now you have all that chlorine in the pool and all that conditioner in the pool. And the more you conditioner you put in that pool, um, it, it's going to weaken your chlorine too. Your chlorine is not going to be as strong as it would. So it's going to weaken the chlorine as well. Now, if you have a 300... Um, uh, conditioner in that pool, that alkalinity needs to be up to at least 150 or you're going to have a very corrosive pool. And that's why we have problems with uh, some of these corrosive pools that you see because guys misuse these things. This is a good product. Don't get me wrong. This is a really good product if used correctly. But most guys in this industry use and abuse this product right here and they um, cause these problems with these, uh, these pools. And there are certain stores out there that will sell you nothing but these in Dicor um, because they're expensive and they make good money on these things. So again, we have two choices. We either can use a tablet and have to drain our pool maybe every three or four months and uh, spend the extra cost on these things and then have to worry about uh, the floater going over to the steps and dropping down a, a 2.8 or a 3 pH. That's 30,000 times more corrosive than a 7.5 pH. Um, pool. So that's why you always see these problems over there on these steps and the guys that use these, all these steps are all etched out and coming apart and just, it just looks like crap. Pools are etched out really bad because again, guys keep your um, alkalinity down when this thing is um, about 200, 300 um, conditioner. And now you have a corrosive pool because your true alkalinity is probably down somewhere in the near zero zone or um, a, a 20 zone. So it's a very corrosive pool. And these things tend to lower your pH too over time. So now you got a lower pH too. So basically these things are a good product if you use them correctly. Correctly, if, uh, you know, for customers or for homeowners, if you're gonna go on a, uh, a vacation, drop these things in your pool while you're gone. Take them out when you get back. Um, pool guys, you know, if you, uh, customers are gonna have a heavy party, toss these things in there and uh, pull them out after the party's done or leave them a gallon of chlorine maybe and uh, and do that. But this is one alternative. And I say, this is the bad one because this is not meant for full-time use. And uh, and it's like, get off the pill because these things are, are used and abused um, in, the, in this pool industry. And, uh, and like I said, these things are not meant as a full-time uh, sanitation. Now, on the other hand, we have, uh, option two now option one corrosive pool etched pool drain the pool um use a lot more chlorine in the pool because of the higher levels of cya and it's going to cost you money uh customers it's going to cost you money um and not to mention those tablets cost a grip of money just to use those now second alternative right here this roller cam right here this thing here um cost a fraction of what that's going to cost you in, in about a year um, for the tablets, draining the pool several times and this and that and whatever, if you want a healthy sanitized pool. 
these roller cams. Um, the way this works is the chlorine gets sucked in through this tube right here and then gets fed down this tube here. Okay. Rotating here, slow feeding chlorine here. Okay. Now, what this will do is it'll keep chlorine in the pool, keep that pool sanitized at whatever you set it for, 3 ppm, 4 ppm. You want to be at least 7.5% of your conditioner for chlorine. So if you've got a 50 ppm conditioner, you need about a 4 ppm of chlorine in that pool to not get any algae. And right here, you can see this thing here is slow feeding the chlorine into the return line. And this is how we can dial it in right here. We dial how much. Um, so right now I have it set at a really low speed because this thing will pump up to 12 gallons a day. Okay. So we want to go to a really low speed um, on this. So it's going to pump in probably about a gallon, about a gallon a week, a little over a gallon a week, maybe. Um, and then it shuts off. As you can see right here, it's not going to run continuously. It's going to do what it needs to do and then shut off. Now, your pool will never run out of chlorine with one of these in there. And this is going to cost you a fraction of what using these tablets is going to do. Um, so again, those are the two options. You have option one, this little guy right here, this that can be um, very dangerous to the pool, very corrosive to a pool if a guy does not know how to use these tablets. Um, again, these things are meant for homeowners that take off for two weeks on vacation. You drop these into the pool. Um, pool guys, if you have a party, investors having a party, drop these into the pool to keep that chlorine up there and then pull them out. These are not meant for a full-time sanitation. Um, that's not what they're for. This is a really good product if used correctly, but a lot of guys are not using this product correctly. So therefore, the guys out there and the homeowners getting fed bad information from a certain store or damaging plaster, damaging pools, and uh, you know, it's just, it's not, yeah, get off, get off the pill, man. Um, right here, roller cam. This thing here is the way to go, right here. Um, you cannot beat this thing. Now, let's just uh, take a closer look at this thing here. Roller cam. How it just comes down and feeds into the return line. Okay. You know, you would think we'd get some sunny days here in California, but we're still in overcast skies here. Here's what I use. This is my setup here. And then, got to have that primate pole. And then, here's the pole. And this pool today, when I tested it, was 3 ppm chlorine. And that's really good because these people use their pool a lot and they, uh, and they run the heater on this pool. Okay, so there, there it is basically in a nutshell. Um, the two choices that we have, we have. Either we use the tabs, which I never use tabs. I've never used them, never will. Um, you, you can use tabs or a roller cam. My, <laughs> my preferred deal here is the roller cam. Um, you're not gonna have a lot of the issues um, with this roller cam as you are with this. Drain the pool, um, mess up your pool, have a corrosive, mess up your steps because uh, uh, the, um, the floater is gonna go on over there and, uh, and sit there and drop down acid, a three uh, pH acid, eating up your steps. Um, or you can just tie it off in the deep end. But, uh, but anyways, there you have it, guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's like, um, if you want a full sanitized pool to be constantly sanitized all week long, got to get yourself a roller cam, okay? There's no other way around it, a roller cam. Get off the pill.